On this session, we are going to see how to make a question on the code. At the moment, we are retrieving the value that the user has introduced and we are showing it on the screen, on the logs. Okay, so now the next thing that we have to do with this letter is check if the letter is on the word or not. So for that, we are going to create a method which is going to be a public void check letter and it's going to receive a letter as an input which is the letter that the use has introduced. We are going to call it introduce letter. Okay, so now when we click on the button and the method introduce letter is executed, we need to call the method check letter. But it could be that the user press the button and there is nothing on the edit text. So we only have to call this method if the user have introduced one letter. So that if is called an if on Java and what I want to do is if letter dot length because a string has an attribute which is length and it's going to tell us how long the string is. So if letter length is equals to one then call check letter with my letter. Okay, and what happens if it's not? If it's not else, then I want to show a message to the user saying, please introduce a letter. How do you say, how do you show a message on Android? A message is called toast. So toast has one method which is make text. The, the make text needs a context. A context, I don't want to go that far yet, but a context is the activity. So in this case, it's this. Uh, we need a text to show. Please introduce a letter. And we need a, a duration, which can be toast long or toast short. It's going to be short. And finally, we need to show this. Okay, so let's see first what happened. Okay, so now I'm going to launch. I am not going to introduce any letter and I am going to press the button. This is going to get the value from the edit text and it's going to see if the letter from the edit text is the length of the string. It means it has at least one letter. If not, it's going to come here and show this message. Let's see what happens. It's working fine. Now, if I introduce a letter, nothing happened because it's calling the method check letter and the method check letter is still not doing anything. Okay, this is a basic if on Java. So you can have an if and else condition, which is if not. This is not mandatory. You could just have this and this is a uh, working if. You don't need to have the elf if you don't want. For the condition, if you want to compare two numbers, you use equals equals. When you use just one one equal, this means as assignation. So as we can see, when we create one value and we use one equals, we are assigning this value to the variable. So remember, two equals is comparing. We can use also here another condition. We can say that if our letter punto length is higher than zero, then this means that we have one letter. And we know that maximum is going to be one because this is the max length. So this condition will also work. Also, if you have a boolean, you can use here just directly the value of a boolean. For example, if I have boolean b equals true, I can just have here the value of the boolean. And Android will see if this is true, I will come to the first condition. If this is not true, I will go to the second condition. Okay, basically this is the structure of an if. You can have as many 
if else as you want you can have one if else inside another one and inside another one this can get a bit complex but that is the basics okay so now we are ready to continue completing the method check later